Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome to this first part on how to make uh, envelope uh, Christmas cards. So uh, for this series we are going to use uh, It Was the Night Before Christmas from Graphic 45. And these papers are so fun to work with and fussy cut out with. So it's a lot of uh, fussy cutting going on in these uh, videos, but you can also use the finished uh, cutouts and uh, do it much more simple. Or you could just uh, use a base for it and create your own uh, scene, as you like. So this is uh, the card uh, I filmed. So uh, yeah, so it's a sort of a scene, a card. So, but you don't have to make this curtain, so you can do it uh, any, uh, yeah, how you like it. And it's also a pop-up inside here, so we have to move it a bit because we couldn't glue that on the side, then the card won't close here. So just help it up a bit. So, and I can maybe show you the other card I made as well. That's not the Christmas card. So this is a regular card. You can uh, skip this uh, side uh, part here and just uh, make it as a regular card. So here is uh, another scene that pops up. So. So in this one I plan to uh, uh, do some writing inside here. So here you can also see how this uh, pops up like so and can also be fold inside like so. So here I've taken a bit wider strip of pop-up that I show in the video. So all this is all glued down with a repositional glue so I can take it out and uh, write a message, message to the receiver. So then we can get started. So I will show you this on copy paper so it uh, shows a more easy up. up. So uh, this is uh, the measurements for the envelope base and this uh, I've cut out 10 and 1 8 by 6. And if you find the 1 8 difficult you can cut it at uh, 10 by 6 so it doesn't matter. But I will <laughs> show you how I made them. And then you're going to score it at 2 and 2 and 1 8 and then 6 and 1 8 and on my scoreboard here I don't have 1 8 so I just put a mark in between here so and then I move it up and score like so so here you then have the base for it so this is going to fold in and uh, here two score lines just to build it up a bit because I'm going to have a lot of embellishments inside here. So then you can choose if you want the card this way or this way. And uh, we are also going to make a frame for it in inside here. And uh, I made one uh, without uh, that frame and uh, we'll show you a bit how I did that. Here I just uh, scored some hinges and this you can cut out uh, one inch or and score at a half or three quarter and score at uh, three eight and go almost up to and maybe show you on this side here fold it the other way so it's more showing up here so then you uh, glue one a bit from this score line here and also one on the other side here so hope it all shows in frame all the way to the edge and then you have a strip of paper that is seven and a quarter that you glue over try to hold it there here so so it's a bit shorter than the card and you can do that on the bottom also if you like to but in this video I will uh, use uh, a frame so here I cut out a paper that is eight by six and uh, then you need to score it at uh, three quarter on each side. So. And all these uh, measurements here, and uh, we'll uh, have taken a picture of this, so I will post it on my blog. So then we can um, cut out the middle part. And here you can choose how wide you want uh, this frame to be. I have chosen a quarter, but you can do uh, what you like. So. Um, quarter here and uh, this builds up to 3 8 of an inch so then we need to go in uh, about here 5 8 of an inch so then we just cut 
you can cut out with a scissor and make yourself a template and draw around if you like to or yeah. So and here we have a quarter. So here about And then we can fold in these score lines here on both uh, sides. So then you have this frame here. So I already have uh, made one in black, so we will use that. But I can maybe show you the curtains as well before we uh, start to build up the card. So here I have a piece of paper that is uh, two and a half by seven. And I've taken a mark here at the three inch and one here down here at one and a half inch and one mark here at one inch in from here. So you don't have to be precise here. So then we start drawing the line here. So about so maybe take it around it a bit more. So so then we can cut this out. So, and then you have a curtain, a template, and you can flip it over and uh, use it for the other side. And I also want some uh, side uh, things here to hold the, the curtains. So then we need a piece of paper I can show you on this one. this over and um, do some draw drawing here. So. About. So about. So when I don't measure here I can cut off the rest if it's too large. here so yeah it's perfect so with that was that and then we can start with um, with the base of the card so here I'm uh, I've um, cut out uh, 6 by um, 12 so the other one I cut at uh, 10 and 1 8 and that's because I'm going to have a, a border edge here so then I can cut it off after so I can show you two ways to fold this so I place this in the middle. So this is a star punch from Marta Stewart. I'm not sure of the brand here. It doesn't have a name, but I think it's uh, pretty new. I bought it uh, this year here. So place it over. Punch one more time. So you can see, maybe take a close up here, so you see if it's like this it doesn't fit up if you're not used to use punches, so you need them to fit up here, then you see you get it precise. So, so then we can take this out of the way, and these small stars you can save if you like to, for some other projects, I just do like so now, and I just cut off the end here. So I'll maybe take one more punch mark here. So now it should look like so. And then we can start scoring. So I will show you this one more time here. So then I score at 2 and 
2 and 1 8. And if you find this difficult here, then you can flip, fold all the way score marks over. Also the 1 8 of an inch here. And then you can continue at score at 4 and at 8. So then we can cut off the rest here. this over and this one eighth of an inch here. So that's the base. So I think I will have this on this side here. We'll see. So then we can start with this uh, frame here and I think I take this out all the way. Here are my curtains and uh, here I cut out from 8x8 paper and this uh, also I just went in between uh, uh, the dots here and made a yeah, chevron maybe it's called, I'm not sure. So I can give you the measurements here as well how wide it is. So this is about uh, 1 and 8 inch wide. So then we can glue this on the back here. And here I like to use my fine tip glue and I have this uh, scotch uh, glue inside with a bit of water. So I will put the link to the shop below if you like to find it. I really find it helpful. It gets a lot of glue out of the large bottle. So I like this one. I have more control. So then we can glue these on here. So. And now for the curtains, but I think we will take these sides on first. So, here about, just give it a bit of a glue here. like to have a bit of wet cloth near behind me and I do get a lot of question of these clothes it's a bit wet and I buy it in a big pack in my food shop they are really affordable here in Norway so. cut off the rest here so then we can glue this inside here so I think I take the glue on here Some magnet on the bottom. <laughs> so. About. And also this one. Maybe we can glue it on the bottom as well. <laughs> To the score line here. Flip this up a bit. So I have some repositional glue. So now we can glue this to the card. And again, we go from. Can maybe show you on this one. So now I will glue this to the first score line here. Bit from and all the way to the edge here so you can see it better on white paper I think so I'll take some glue here this for a while so I'm sure it will stick well down. And 
then for the other side here. So you can also use uh, score tape here if you like to, but then it's uh, um, more easy to reposition it with a glue if you are unlucky. So, and you can see the seam starts building up. So now I will fold this in and fold it over, like so. So be sure to see here that it uh, folds right here and also on the other side here. So I'm not sure it shows up here. So you can see, maybe see it here. So, and then we maybe can take the paper inside and if you now want to um, and draw, uh, draw a message here, it's best to do it before you glue it down. So, but uh, I will have some uh, uh, place here for uh, writing a message, uh, so uh, I will have some more decorative paper inside. So this is from uh, the 8x8 paper. Now I see yeah, here, this way. So then we can take them inside and I see I forgot to etch them, so we can do that real fast. I like to use a sharpie pen here to go around. any type of glue you like here. So I just go around a bit with this so I can reposition it if I need to. So. And that's also to hide up this hinge and make it more secure on the back. So we take it in after. You can take it in first if you like to. So a bit from the score line in the middle. And then also to high up. if it folds great here. Yeah. So, and I will do the same for the other side here. Try to line them up. So about. And if you don't um, I want to have this flip here or, or just to use it as a regular card and write something on the back maybe. You can use some magnets inside here, have some here. So you can glue them on the back side here. So to have it closed up. But I won't do that for this one. So now we can start to, to decorate it a bit. So then I like to play a bit with it and see where I want them. The images I fussy cut out and uh, this uh, tree dice are from uh, memory box and I just wrapped some um, uh, uh, stripes of paper around and fussy cut out some of these here. So, so we try to make a scene out of it. So this can then be used for Christmas and uh, uh, be as a decoration. When I'm doing this, usually I have it standing up, so it's more easy to see. But then you won't see anything. So, and here I have uh, this frame is uh, cut out from the eight by eight paper and backed with a six by six paper, and also fussy cut the image here. So maybe we'll have it here, and uh, also have a little bed here. So I will play uh, around a bit with this, and I will be back. I decided I want a pop-up inside here uh, on this card as well, so then we can score. Here I took a strip, it's a bit over a half inch, so then I score at a half inch. So three, four, five times. Cut it off. Fold this 
this in and fold this over here so then you have an inch here so we can glue this together hope you can see this how it looks so fold it over and fold it over one more time oh, too early so yeah and then we made a little cube here So usually when I uh, take this and in glue inside, I uh, glue it in two sides, but um, then the card won't fold in. So I will just glue on one side here, so then we need to have <laughs> help it a bit to pop up when we open the card. So we go all the way here to the edge, maybe a bit up here. So Take it up so you can see it here. So then we can glue this tiny Christmas tree. And uh, I think this maybe was from a Marianne design die. So, but uh, these are just uh, suggestions. Use what you have. So now we fold this down because uh, we need this tree to uh, uh, not go over the middle part here. So I think I need some glue here as well. And we're only going to glue, yeah. So then we are going to glue just on this half piece side here, but we lay it down. Maybe show you this way so you can maybe see it better. So we maybe could have taken this cube a bit larger here. Could have maybe scored it at the three quarter of an inch on the top here. Uh, it was a bit little to glue on here, but I think it will work when we pop it up. So, so then we can glue this tree on here. So I think I want this on the back here. I just cut out a little uh, uh, tree <laughs> stub, maybe it's called. So take this behind and. Uh, Glue here. See how this works. So. About. Yeah. I think so. And then we can take this Santa and this was from the 12 by 12 paper. So this we can glue all the way down. So. And these cards, it's uh, a bit of a work and uh, it's uh, present in itself, but you can make it really easy. You don't have to put so much uh, work in it and you can uh, maybe use some of the cutouts and banners and uh, yeah, it's a lot uh, you can do here. So it's just me that likes to put a bit of work in the projects I make. So this Santa is uh, cut out from uh, the 8x8. Standing a bit on the outside of the frame, maybe. So, so then I just place him inside here and here I have a little bed. And I think Maybe I will wait gluing them down because um, I want some presents here as well. So see how far I hope it comes. So again here we must not go over this uh, folding line here. So I think I take it here. And this is uh, from a Marianne design die. These are from the same die. So maybe take this over here. Yeah. Or here. So. And uh, maybe one here as 
well. And maybe on the side here. I think I take it on the side here. bed needs to go so uh, so it can be seen when it's uh, standing up so here about so, and then we can glue down this frame here use uh, pop dots inside here but then it, uh, it will build up a bit more so and uh, I have a little a mouse here maybe you can go under here or maybe here take him there Take the side uh, panel now before uh, we make it finish. So this I got a bit too large, I see. So I need to cut off it a bit. So I cut it uh, down a bit, and I've uh, glued it down, and I cut it down to one and a half inch here. So then we can uh, start decorating a bit here as well. And here is um, some leftover I had from another card, so I think I will use uh, this here. So the word won't be long enough, maybe. You can cut it off a bit and see. So about. And I also want this boy, and I think he was from the uh, 8x8 paper behind here. Just them loosely down here and also just on the bottom so I can stack a tag also inside here if I like to. So from here I also made some uh, some tree stub in the bottom of the tree here. So and then I want uh, this Christmas greetings and I backed it on some black paper and <laughs> I don't remember if it was from the 8x8 or 12x12. But uh, you can maybe see what fits, or maybe I should take this on first and see. Be too late now. <laughs> Could do some marks in the paper, maybe. I think I want this over here. And he be sure not to go over the score lines here. So, and um, also have <laughs> some fussy cuts images here that I want on the front to fill up a bit here. So we can see what we can use here. I think I want this girl to stand here. scene here. So maybe one more on the side here. No, I think I just go for this. Here about. So and uh, a little boy here maybe to get some green here as well. the name in English, a trumpet maybe, maybe, because we call it uh, trompet in Norwegian. So I want this, this uh, 
sign. It would be nice with a sign this one here, but uh, then it would be too hard to fold over. So I just glue this here. So now maybe it's enough. Maybe you can have a little boy peeking up here as well. Yeah, I think so. Maybe some red. I think I take him here. Now I tried with a clock, but I don't think I want that. So, could have maybe a stocking on here as well. No, <laughs> I think I'll leave it like it is now. So then we can fold it together and make a closure on the back side here. So here I cut out the clock and backed it with the black paper, and I will only glue it on the top here. So see where twelve is here. I maybe could take it this way. Yeah, I glue it just here. So, and you can glue it together when you're ready. Have uh, written something inside, or you can also use. I like to use a repositional glue. It's my stick. So uh, then the receiver can open it and have it as a card. And this also can be folded this way, so it's just a scene that shows up as a decoration. And uh, yeah, and maybe it would be nice to finish it up with the two of these also. Oh, I think I leave it. <laughs> Have to stop uh, one time. <laughs> so yeah, and in the front here it's black. You can write with a, a white marker if you like to, or. If you are going to send it to someone who needs uh, uh, to write the address, you can maybe place uh, this over. It's, uh, this is from Spellbinders and if you are just going to give it, you can use uh, one of the stamps maybe and place over here. So, and you can uh, have a box full of fussy cutouts here, maybe decorate it a bit more. So, but I will wait to uh, do this uh, until I see uh, who is going to get it. So, this was the card, and I uh, hope it was a bit inspiring. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please look below the video. There you will find uh, the information how I answer questions. So, I have fun creating, everyone, and take care. Bye bye.